Hey tubers and pickers, it's Drew, the California Picker. Welcome back to my channel, California Pickin. And uh, we're out in the backyard today doing a little art restoration on this frame of this great painting we bought the other day. This mother and child painting. And it had, uh, it started out this color, that brown in between, and then there were several chips and areas that it was missing some of that paint and somebody came back in and hit it with a little black and instead of repainting it brown I just decided to fill it in with the black and it's okay because I'm doing it in like a thin wash thinner kind of wash now over here uh, there was some missing paint in here and I'm just kind of going back in and I'm just touching up where there was missing paint there and I'm gonna let that dry and maybe come back and do another little layer but you can see the paint isn't dry yet so I should just leave that alone but this is the color what it used to be and I'm just gonna show you guys what it's like to just fill in some of this color because, you know, I'm an artist. I can do this. <laughs> this is no sweat for me. So, you just want to thin this down a little bit. And thin it down with a little bit of medium or water. And I'm just going to hit that little corner right there. See that? Using a small paintbrush. doing like a thin wash go down here got a little water mixed in with the black paint we don't want it too thick and we don't want it too thin so that's just about the right consistency and as you can see I'm just kind of filling it in here hard to hold the camera and concentrate on the painting but you can see what I'm doing I'm just covering up that brown with black a thin layer of black don't want it too thick we don't want to see the brush strokes if at all possible and we're just going to keep dabbing in the paint there Sorry, that was the garage opening. Here comes some wind. Kind of looks like rain today, but it's not going to. Oh, and if you just go over a little bit, just wipe that away. No big deal. Whoops, did it again. It's hard to do this with one hand. Let's come down here where it's easier. My arm is getting tired up there. So we're just going to come in here with this black paint. And this is going to dry kind of um, semi-gloss or a little bit semi-gloss. And we want to go right up to the line right here. We don't mind. Sh we don't mind a little bit of of uh, of that dust. There's some good dust in there. I kind of want to keep that dust a little bit here and there. But, uh, you know, this is no problem for me. I have a real steady hand. I've restored many paintings and frames and done a lot of artwork myself. 
So this is just fun for me. And uh, it's going to make this frame look real nice. I didn't want to sell the, the painting with some chips in the frame. So nobody's going to know. It's all going to be real smoothed out. And it's not going to be a problem at all. But I'm not going to apply it too thick. Oops. Some of that came off right there. Not going to apply it too thick or too thin. And it's just going to have a nice look to it when I'm done. Looking good so far. Come up here. More of the same. Steady brush strokes right up to the line there and you can see how I'm gonna get that steady well that's hard to do anyway you get the idea going to look real nice when it's done. Steadiness and the consistency is the key to this restoring. So you want to smooth out these areas so that they don't have brush strokes. But wow, it's looking good already. So yeah, this is the area that needed to be fixed over here and it seems to be drying up nice. I'm going to come back and hit that with another coat. But anyways, that's me, Drew, the California Picker, showing you how to restore an antique frame. And uh, sometimes the gold leaf is all chipped off and I can hit this with some gold leaf on the sides here, different little areas. but. Uh, this black is turning out pretty good and I'm pretty happy with this. It's actually going to make the the canvas pop a little bit more because the canvas is brownish green in areas and black is going to provide a nice contrast. So anyways that's me Drew the California Picker. Please share this on Google plus Facebook. Tell your friends about California Picking. Go check out and hit like on my Facebook page, The California Picker. And um, check us out on The Collector's Catacomb Thursday nights with Eric, Dan, Eric, and Sean. Okay? Keep on picking your fine art and restoring your cool frames. Alright guys? Cheers now.